Yeah, and Lewis is with him. He seems to be being interviewed by reporters. Hey, come on, Faye. Hey. Smile. He's the greatest, okay? I don't understand her. I don't want to see him. This is getting to you, isn't it? Finding out about Bert. Yes. I can't believe it, Robert. Yeah, I keep thinking of the times that we work together, the times that we save each other's lives. You made him go bad, Robert. Or was he always like that? I don't know. Really. I don't. You're thinking about slavery, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry, Anna. Really, I am. It's all right. It's not... Well, you're hurting. I know. That. That, that, that's not good. Well, I asked for it, I guess. Nobody ever asked for it. We know he's a killer. We know, you know he's not a killer, but... Oh, I'm sorry. It's like our friend back there. It's made me confused. He was our co-worker. You've been leveled at it with both barrels, and that's not right. Please don't feel sorry for me. Because I don't think about it. Every time I think about Duke, I just get angry and I forget about everything else. Do you? Yes, he was a crook. He's always been a crook and I trusted him. I know. He said we should trust each other and I told him everything about my past. Well, you can take comfort in the fact that you were at least honest. He was leading a double life. You know what I hate about him most? Is that he disillusioned my little daughter. You know, I think perhaps you're so angry because you still love him. No. No, I don't. I just have to remember what he did to me and Robin. Uh, I think uh, Ramsey's coming this way. Okay, I don't think we should tell hey Lewis anything. Listen, Robin, you've got to keep Anna. him from calling police Robert. headquarters, right? right. Anna, hey! Hey, yeah, mate. Chief Ramsey is uh, kind of a star today. Oh, it's easy. All you have to do is get shot in the line of duty, right, Alan? Right. <laughs> kind of doing it the hard way, wouldn't you say? Yeah, well, oh, look, I've got some time. I want to check in with headquarters. Wheel me over to the phone. Um, right? I, I want to ask you a question, Beth. Well, Anna, I'd like to make this call before the grand jury convenes. I want to make sure that the van picked up Lavery in his brain. Yeah, it's real important. Be back in a question? minute. Robert, I... Uh... Uh, all right. <clears throat> so, uh, what's the question? Uh, uh, did you speak to the DA? Anything about what? Well, uh, about Duke's indictment. You know, I wanted what charge the DA was going to bring. The person I wanted to see. Oh, why can you just say just the person I wanted? Those <sighs> were the days, eh? Oh, they were, weren't they? Oh, I wish we could have them right now, back in the present, right this very moment. Yeah, well, you never change. Hmm? Unfortunately, you did. I mean, what's this? I suppose you remain true blue to Holly, who's halfway away in the world in Australia. No, 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 don't answer. I don't even want to hear it. You still light up my life. I'm glad I light up something, Robert. Thank you. <clears throat> I need a favor. Well, I need a scoop that you promised me. Remember, the only thing I'm going to get around here is Duke Lavery uh, and his change, you'll if I'm lucky. Your, you'll get your scoop. I need the favor now. What and why? Well, uh, well I can't tell you why. I, I, I just can't tell you why. Sounds awfully mysterious, Robert. It isn't, it isn't. Okay, you've said enough. What do you want me to do? I want you to interview Ramsey, myself, and Anna. Well, give me an angle. Well, uh, I don't, well, um, uh, how about, uh, the police commissioners and chiefs, past and present? Oh, Robert, that's soft. Come on with something better. Oh, no, no. Look, whatever. I want you to keep Ramsey here, all right? Why? We'll have lunch. We'll have lunch. We'll have lunch. Well, if that's it, then I've got to get to the phone right well, now. Hey, go. where are you going? Well, I want to get to the phone. The cameras are rolling. Yes. What? You know, I think my viewers would like to meet the head honchos of the Port Charles Police Department, past and present. All right, oh, great. Wonderful. Hey, what about uh, just the police chiefs now? I mean, this guy in particular, because he's the hero. Oh, come right. on, Chief. You deserve all the Hey, come, come on, on. Bert. This is it. <laughs> Will you be testifying to the grand jury against Duke Lavery? Come on, Lavery, what's taking you so long? I'm almost ready. What time is it? 3.15, that's it. Come on, wipe it off and move. You're stalling. You know, I told you the reason why you wouldn't believe me. You're right. All right, let's go. Come on, 
Governor, I'm telling you guys, if we don't wait here another 15 minutes, the grand jury's gonna have a dead man in his hands. You're out of your skull. You have to believe me. If we do not stay here a little while longer, I'm gonna be dead. Well, then we'll save the taxpayers a lot of money, won't we? Come on. You've got to listen to me. You've got to rest. My blood is going to be on your hands. What are you talking about, Avery? These two cops up there, listen to them, they pay the mob with them and are signed to kill me. You're talking about Burns and Coors? Yes, I'm talking about they're them. They're friends. They've been on the police force. No, they're, they're renegade cops. Oh, no, no. They're not no. going to take me to court. You're going to listen to me. All right, let's move it. Oh, you two are early. Your time was 3.30. We've got our orders, Lavery, and you're not giving any. Hey, get him out of here. He's in our charge. Let's go. for a little ride, Duke, but not to the courthouse. taking me. Thank you. 